pick up the check and we never saw them back again. That's right. We want Mr. Trump to help us make a full investigation of Haiti. Yes. Because the Clintons have been running Haiti for 25 years and they're safe with Marty Lee. Haiti is open for business and the Haitian community knows Haiti was open for monkey business, drug business, laundering money business. And we want the U.S. government and the next president to help us make a full investigation and the DA have all the proof of all the drug dealers and everybody else, we want them arrested. Nicely said, well said, thank you very much. Also, now I want to introduce Stervens Poleus. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Trump. It's an honor and privilege to meet you. On behalf of the Haitian community, I would like to present you with this Haitian American flag pen. It represents the, the long-term relationship between Haiti and the United States of America. And this is a note from me as well. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Thank you. I also, I also want to recognize Reverend O'Neill Dozier, who is a worldwide Christian who is known and respected all of Now, it's also time to recognize Jean Fritz Altidor, who's been a fighter for freedom and against corruption. He's a radio broadcaster. For a long time, he's been fighting. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome home. This is our home here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you. I'm from Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, this is a large Asian community. But we do have a need for education that we all understand, we all know, or many of us know, that the school choice is the need for us, especially the Haitian and Haitian American community, and all over, we can say that, in Florida. And it is a big issue right now, because we know the Teachers Association, they have a lawsuit uh, against that. And we know that there is uh, so many minorities who benefit from this program. And we like to understand what you're gonna do when you sit in the office as the President of the United States. How you gonna help us? Because we know uh, Mrs. Clinton, this is her bull pick, her choice for against us, against this type of program, uh, to speak clearly. Because they know, they're interested about the teachers' union. So what are you gonna do to help us to that point in Florida? Okay, thank you, that's a great question. So important education. Uh, I'm totally for choice. Uh, we're going to work it for choice. We're getting rid of Common Core. You'll be doing locally and you'll be doing it properly because you look at our education system in this country, it's horrible. We spend more per pupil than any other nation in the world, but we're ranked toward the bottom of the list, and that's not gonna happen. Uh, we are very, very, you had mentioned the word choice. We are very, very pro-choice. I know the community likes that, but a lot of communities like that, and certain people don't, and you know who they are. It's bureaucratic, it's union, it's a lot of people, frankly. It's a big, strong lobby. Hillary Clinton is against choice in education. And if she's against choice, that means you're just not gonna have good education. So I'm with you 100%. It's a great question. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I also want to recognize and introduce the former Haitian pres president of the Senate of Haiti in 1994, when Clinton sent 23,500 troops and did not respect to bring it, to bring a, a bad president who dis helped destroy Haiti back. And he was a fighter, a long time fighter. Jean Ber Bernard Sassari. Sir, it's a pleasure to meet you personally. It's a pleasure also to see uh, Mr. Giuliani here because I have been uh, an admirer of him for a long time. Sir, I was president of, president of the Senate in Haiti in 1994 when Bill Clinton invaded the island. And I have the records about the Clinton Foundation. And I want to have a few minutes today to talk about that. Uh, Mr. First of all, to understand where I come from, I am from both cultures. I am from the American culture because I came here at a very early age. And while you went to New York Military Academy, I went to New Jersey, the Military Academy in New Jersey. About the same time, we are about the same age. You could have been my underclassman. So really, it's, you understand me and I will understand you. Okay. So, but my dream was to go back to Haiti, to do for Haiti what I had seen in the United States. Free enterprise system, the justice system you have here. In February of 1994, I became president of the Senate, and I had to deal with the Clinton invasion of Haiti. And uh, to try to appease me, he, was, he sent me Bill Richardson, who was actually congressman at that time. And I spent four hours with Bill Richardson in my office in Port-au-Prince, explaining to him how they should not invade Haiti and how this was a bad idea to return our state to power. And I even mentioned that President Reagan, in 1986, had sent one airplane to pick up Duvalier. I said, that's the way to do it. You want to get rid of those generals? Send an airplane. I will help them into that airplane. So we spent four hours. I discussed it with Bill Richardson, because I said to Bill, take the message back to President Clinton. I know you are here because he sent you. A week later, after my conversation with Bill Richardson, the American embassy called me, as it was often the case, and they said, President Clinton has a messenger for you. I said, send him over. He came, did not give me his name, but told me, Mr. Sensory, you join our movement. You side with Bill Clinton in this invasion and will make you the richest man in Haiti. I said, sir, tell President Clinton for me, Bernard Sensory is not for sale. I have principle and I love my country. A week later, by executive order, Clinton revoked my visa. I was then a resident of the United States. I am now a citizen of the United States. Yeah. And this is how it's been in Haiti. The Clinton went up after the invasion. They started a cellular company called Fusion International. To make a long story short, now it's Gigi Sell who is taking over, and his friend Dennis O'Brien has, has given millions to the Clinton Foundation. In 2010, the earthquake of Haiti, not only American taxpayers, but the whole world has given billions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation for the Haitians, not only not even 2% of that money went back to Haiti. So Mr. Trump, we are asking you, begging you, the Haitian community will side with you if one day you ask Hillary Clinton publicly to disclose the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake.
very poor country. Haiti need defenders. You said you will champion our cause. We welcome you, sir. And we, we will work with you. But please, ask publicly Hillary Clinton, during your next debate, to publish the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Amazing. I will do that. Thank you very much. Incredible. That's a terrible experience you've had. I had other, I had other experience, sir. Uh, like George Sadi said, you know, I have proof because I have worked with American intelligence about the drugs coming from Haiti to the United States and how the money went back to Haiti, you know, in cornflakes boxes. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And that money was used to pay lobbyists in Washington, D.C. during the Clinton administration and the money found its way all the way to the White House. Well, the Haitian people is counting on you. Really amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to speak about jobs. Everybody knows Haitians are hard-working people. Mayor Giuliani of New York knows that. They know that all over the world. In the Dominican Republic, they work very hard. We went on the radio in 2008, 2009, they were paying Haitian workers $3 a day. And I just, they could not eat with $3 a day. So we put pressure on the press and the media and everybody else so they could vote at $5 a day. While other countries in Central America and the Caribbean were paying $18 a day. The Clintons claimed to have a good heart and to, they want to help the poor people. But she was against the raise, $2 raise, $2, only $2. You cannot have lunch with $5 in the United States. She refused. She went to see President Preval, and she told her after Haitian Congress passed the law not to vote for it. It is very important that we don't get into regime change and we travel like Mr. Trump just said, we respect other countries and other people and we work with them, not impose on them things that are negative. So we need to make everything better for everybody, all creeds, all color, all countries, and especially we worry about what's happening in America first. I think you're going to introduce the third person. Who's the third person? Anybody like to speak? Trump. Elizabeth. Go ahead. Elizabeth. Yes, I'm Monique. Um, I would like to welcome you to our community. And we know we are living in an information age right now. We are greatly in need for education. And I know with you uh, being elected for the next president of the United States, we can't wait for that to happen. And we're gonna win big. <laughs> you know, I have to say this: that I came in and I heard such great things from Rudy and other people, but there is a warmth in this room that's really incredible. It's really very really impressive. The next president of the United States came here. He showed he cared. And one thing is very important. I want to emphasize: he is the first. U.S. candidate, presidential candidate, and history to visit the Haitian community. The other, ones, the other ones came to pick up the check, and we never saw them back again. We want Mr. Trump to help us make a full investigation of Haiti. Because the Clintons have been running Haiti for 25 years. And they say, with Martin Lee, Haiti is open for business. And the Haitian community knows Haiti was open for monkey business, drug business, laundering money business. 
and we want the U.S. government and the next president to help us make a full investigation and the DA have all the proof of all the drug dealers and everybody else, we want them arrested. Also, now I want to introduce Sturvans Polius. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Cho. It's an honor and privilege to meet you. On behalf of the Haitian community, I would like to present you with this Haitian American flag pen. It represents the, the long-term relationship between Haiti and the United States of America. And this is a note from me. Altidor, who's been a fighter for freedom and against corruption, is a radio broadcaster for a long time he's been fighting. Thank you. And welcome. I welcome home. This is our home here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trump. I'm from Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, this is a large Asian community. But we do have a need for education that we all understand, we all know, or many of us know, that the school choice is a need for us, especially the Haitian and Haitian American community, and all over, we can say that, in Florida. And it is a big issue right now because we know the teachers association, they have a lawsuit uh, against that. And we know that there is uh, so many minorities who benefit from this program. And we have to understand what you gonna do when you sit in the office as a president of the United States, how you gonna help us? Because we know uh, Mrs. Clinton, this is her good pick, her choice for against us, against this type of program, uh, to speak clearly. Because they know, they're interested about the teachers' union. So what are you gonna do to help us to that point in Florida? Thank you, that's a great question. So important education. I'm totally for choice. We're going to work it for choice. We're getting rid of Common Core. You'll be doing locally and you'll be doing it properly because you look at our education system in this country, it's horrible. We spend more per pupil than any other nation in the world, but we're ranked toward the bottom of the list. And that's not gonna happen. Uh, we are very, very, you had mentioned the word choice. We are very, very pro-choice. I know the community likes that, but a lot of communities like that and certain people don't, and you know who they are. It's bureaucratic, it's union, it's a lot of people, frankly. It's a big, strong lobby. Hillary Clinton is against choice in education, and if she's against choice, that means you're just not gonna have good education. So I'm with you 100%. It's a great question. Thank you very much. Thank you. I also want to recognize Mr. introduce the former Haitian pres president of the Senate of Haiti in 1994, when Clinton sent 23,500 troops and did not respect to bring it, to bring a, a bad president who dis helped destroy Haiti back. And he was a fighter, a long time fighter. Jean Ber Bernard Sassari. <laughs> So 
Sir, it's a pleasure to meet you personally. It's a pleasure also to see uh, Mr. Giuliani here because I have been uh, an admirer of him for a long time. So I was president of, president of the Senate in Haiti in 1994 when Bill Clinton invaded the island. And I have the records about the Clinton Foundation. And I want to have a few minutes today to talk about that. Uh, Mr. First of all, to understand where I come from, I am from both culture. I am from the American culture because I came here at a very early age. And while you went to New York Military Academy, I went to New Jersey, a military academy in New Jersey. About the same time, we are about the same age. You could have been my underclassman. <laughs> so really, it's, you understand me and I will understand you. Okay? So, but my dream was to go back to Haiti, to do for Haiti what I had seen in the United States. Free enterprise system, the justice system you have here, and fight corruption in Haiti. And in 1991, I was elected Senator of Haiti. The same year, Jean-Bertrand Aristide was elected president. In February of 1994, I became president of the Senate. And I had to deal with the Clinton invasion of Haiti. And I learned so much about the Clinton because I was working so much with the American intelligence at that time. Clinton wanted to buy me out. And I remember that I was hitting very hard on several fronts. Today Show, Good Morning America, and once I was in nightline with Senator Dole. And uh, to try to appease me, he, was, he sent me Bill Richardson, who was actually congressman at that time. And I spent four hours with Bill Richardson in my office in Port au Prince explaining to him how they should not invade Haiti and how this was a bad idea to return our state to power. And I even mentioned that President Reagan in 1986 had sent one airplane to pick up Duvalier. I said, that's the way to do it. You want to get rid of those generals? Send an airplane. I will help them into that airplane. So we spent four hours. I discussed it with Bill Richardson because I said to Bill, take the message back to President Clinton. I know you are here because he sent you. A week later, after my conversation with Bill Richardson, the American embassy called me, as it was often the case, and they said, President Clinton has a messenger for you. I said, send him over. He came, did not give me his name, but told me, Mr. Sensory, you join our movement. You side with Bill Clinton in this invasion and will make you the richest man in Haiti. I said, sir, tell President Clinton for me, Bernard Sensory is not for sale. I have principle and I love my country. A week later, by executive order, Clinton revoked my visa. I was then a resident of the United States. I am now a citizen of the United States. <laughs> and this is how it's been in Haiti. The Clinton, when they, after the invasion, they started a cellular company called Fusion International. To make a long story short, now it's Dizzy Cell who is taking over, and his friend Dennis O'Brien has, has given millions to the Clinton Foundation. In 2010, the earthquake of Haiti, not only American taxpayers, but the whole world has given billions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation for the Haitians, not only not even 2% of that money went back to Haiti. So Mr. Trump, we are asking you, begging you, the Haitian community will side with you if one day you ask Hillary Clinton publicly to disclose the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake.
Haiti is a very poor country. Haiti needs defenders. You said you will champion our cause. We welcome you, sir. And we, we will work with you. But please, ask publicly Hillary Clinton, during your next debate, to publish the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Incredible. That's a terrible experience you've had. They had other, I have other experience, sir. Uh, like George Sadi said, you know, I have proof because I have worked with American intelligence about the drugs coming from Haiti to the United States and how the money went back to Haiti, you know, in cornflakes boxes. Mm. It's unbelievable. And that money was used to pay lobbyists in Washington, D.C. during the Clinton administration and the money found its way all the way to the White House. Sir, sir please, the Haitian people is counting on you. Really amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Jobs. Everybody knows Haitians are hard working people. Mayor Giuliani of New York knows that. They know that all over the world in the Dominican Republic. They work very hard. We went on the radio in 2008, 2009. They were paying Haitian workers $3 a day. And I just, they could not eat with $3 a day. So we put pressure on the press and the media and everybody else so they could vote at $5 a day while other countries in Central America and the Caribbean were paying $18 a day. The Clintons claimed to have a good heart and to, they want to help the poor people. But she was against the raise, $2 raise, $2, only $2. You cannot have lunch with $5 in the United States. She refused. She went to see President Preval, and she told her after Haitian Congress passed the law not to vote for it. It is very important that we don't get into regime change and we travel like Mr. Trump just said. We respect other countries and other people and we work with them, not impose on them things that are negative. So we need to make Everything better for everybody, all creeds, all color, all countries, and especially we worry about what's happening in America first. I think you're going to introduce the third person. Who's the third person? Anybody like to speak? Go ahead. welcome you to our community and we know we are living in an information age right now we are greatly in need for education and I know with you uh, being elected for the next president of the United States we can wait for that to happen and we're going to win big <laughs> you know I, I have to say that uh, I came and, and I heard such great things from Rudy and other people but there is a warmth in this room that's really incredible it's really very impressive and very incredible. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for coming in the Haitian community. My name is Dr. Henry Flood Dues. Been here for since '72. Uh, I have had a lot of help from American citizens to do a lot of things in this country, helping in my community. One of the questions I would like to ask is, why are the main media are not here today when it's come to the Haitian America? That would have been great for the Haitian community all over the world, you see. You see any, I'm not too sure if CNN is here. I watch CNN all the time, but I don't see the, 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 the main media here, and that would have helped the Haitian the situation. Second. That's true. It's second, true. And second, and the, the, the Haitians 
uh, it's a diverse community in, in Haiti, like here, like anywhere else. Haiti was not recognized by the United States for 50 years after our independence. Haiti has helped the United States with the purchase of Louisiana. Haiti in Louisiana helped with the barrels to become Savannah. In Savannah, we have a, erected a monument for the Haitian soldiers in Savannah. Haiti, the founder of Chicago, you probably know the history of is Haitian. We have, we have paid our price for this country. But lately, I was watching Netflix last night. What I saw that has been going on with the Clinton is disgusting all over the world in terms of uh, money. And it's, it's terrible. So uh, I have a foundation, those children foundation. I'm in business. Um, I went back to Haiti about last year after losing a brother and a sister to violence in, in Atlanta, Georgia, another one to, to, to cancer. So, I would like, really, for you, Mr. Trump, to become the President of the United States that will have to change Haiti for sure, once for all. Thank you. Because, because we, Haiti is the backyard of the United States. Right. We, we, the United States have all those European countries. Why not Haiti? I understand. Why not Haiti? We count on you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Go ahead. Now, all of you can, can ask questions, Mr. They, they will, Mr. Trump will answer every question. There are papers here and pen. You can ask the question. The time is limited now. We have to close. And uh, we just want once again to thank Mr. Trump for taking the time to listen to us, to listen to what we have to say. And really, we hope when he gets in the White House, he has for a full-fledged investigation about, and about what went on in Haiti. Well, I want to thank George. First of all, I want to thank you very much. And I want to thank everybody in the room. We have an election coming up on November 8th. If you get out and vote, get every one of your friends out to vote. And I've heard you're not exactly big fans of the Clintons now. I'm sort of finding out why. Uh, I've heard that. I've been hearing that for two years, actually. Uh, didn't understand it. Now I understand it. But if you could get out, everybody, November 8th, get out to vote, you'll be really happy. And uh, we're going to work very hard to make everybody very, very strong. I mean, this man's been asking for a long time. Go ahead. How about a quickie? Quick question. Quick question. Thank you for bringing this Conway on to your yeah, she's been great. Kelly and Kelly. Would you consider interviewing Haitian Americans as ambassador to Haiti? These people... Right now, you don't have a Haitian American as the ambassador. Correct. Well, it certainly makes sense. I can say just, that, right? Just interview doctors. Who do you like in the room? Who do you like, Kevin? <laughs> there's, there's so many quality individuals. <laughs> We've gone to the best I, I can see there are. I We've gone to the best universities, and there are people willing to go back to their country and help. I would absolutely consider that, and it makes to me it makes a lot of sense. Please post it on Twitter. They will all follow you. They hate <laughs> Hillary. They hate Hillary. Post that. A lot of people hate Hillary. Thank you, very much. Thank you, everybody. We'll be back, and we will not disappoint you. November 8th, go up and vote. George, I want to thank you. So nice. Thank you. We'll take a picture. I think this is Donald Trump's biggest day, and he will be ignored from henceforth. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> but I want the cameras to span the room. Go ahead, fellas, watch. They don't turn them. They don't turn them. They don't turn them. Go ahead, turn them. Look, turn the camera. Go ahead. Turn the camera, ma'am. Turn the camera. 
You with the blonde hair, turn the camera. Show the room. Go ahead. They don't turn them. Why about, hey, you in the center, why don't you turn your camera? Show them how many people come to these rallies. Turn them. Go ahead, turn them. Go ahead. Thank you. That's the first time they've ever done that. Thank you. That's the first time. Amazing. Amazing. Because what's going on is amazing. And I'm telling you, it's amazing.